hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is noel i hope you're all doing well as i'm doing and i'm so grateful i'm so happy guys i'm in county 001 that is mombasa kenya africa so guys i am so so happy because i'm, the, I'm in this uh, beautiful place and i'm so glad guys i'm so glad i'm here you can see the nature is so green so i'm just connecting with the nature before i go back to the busy schedule so guys hmm today's video i'm just gonna bring you uh something different something that i haven't done before it's like what turns me off so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna do it at the nearly beach side so i'm gonna be seated and then i'll bring you that particular content what turns me off as we look forward to a new content or other things different things so guys stay put do not get away from this space if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button like comment share and turn the post notification bell so guys let me see you on the other end <laughs> I just love when people 
greet me with hands like this or gota you know gota 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 so point number three i don't know we are point number three or what um empty promises i really don't like if someone just promises me because they want to promise me so that they can make me happy if you feel like you are not in a position to fulfill the promise or you are not in a position to make something happen because of one thing or another then no need of you lying that will do this particular thing just be bold enough to say no and i'll not be there keeping hope or uh, or having hopes high that, that you are gonna do this thing for me just give me a bold no and i'll forget about it okay because if you be, promise me something i'm gonna hold on to it i'm gonna put my hopes high that this person is gonna do it today or tomorrow you know and it's not a good thing so if you don't fulfill it it turns me off i get mad i get angry and it's not okay yeah so let's just learn to be bold enough and say no another thing uh strangers borrowing money hmm. so this happened to me some uh previous few previous days uh, i was coming to mombasa and then at nairobi terminus there were some ladies there i think the soldiers something scanning you are at the checkout they scan your bags and then so they scanned my bags and then when i was trying to carry one of my bag and the other one then they called me sister ebu kuja please come to nikaenda and then they asked me at a uh, does your bag have uh, do your bags have shades inside the glasses and then i told them yes it is and you've already seen it at the scanning that's why we have scan and then they told me okay it's okay and then i went they called me again come i went at you know we were not even calling you because of shades we were calling you because we wanted to borrow you something because we are, we are hungry we don't have something to eat please uh if you can give us money so that we can take tea i'm like i paid the fare and i only have a few amounts that will take me home so i don't have anything then you insist they insist they insisted please please we haven't taken anything so please tell your bosses they insisted and then i got mad i removed money and gave them and then there was a policeman standing close to us they told me don't tell that policeman if they ask why we were Uh, we were asking you for money and i told them it's okay and i left because they were just wasting my time you see strangers borrowing money you don't know what this person is going through you don't know who they are you don't know anything about them and you just courageous enough to borrow them money that's bad manners more so this economy is so bad everyone is striving to exist or striving to survive and you are there stressing people with your problems i also have my problems imagine me i travel with this year i didn't even take anything and i've given someone 200 shillings that made me feel so bad because it it was not coming from my heart some just big women doing that that's bad yeah that's bad another thing if i tell someone no and they insist kind of goes hand in hand with the uh, the the previous point if you tell someone no you have your pro- you have your your reasons why you are telling this particular person no because maybe uh, you are not in a position of doing it or you don't have that particular thing and they insist they insist it pisses off another thing uh another thing if we agree to meet somewhere and you take so long you keep me in waiting for like 4 hours trust you me i'll get mad and get enraged because why why do you keep me like that of course i'll understand in one occasion maybe you are stuck on traffic or something happened i'll understand but not each and every time i'm the one to wait for you for hours and hours and hours because you are taking your time uh, doing your things there of course i'll understand i'm a human being and i'm also late on some occasions because of one problem or, an- or another so guys let's keep on time we agree to meet on this particular time keep on time yeah another thing is um those people who usually remember you or they call you whenever they have problems ah uh, that's a turn no i don't like like i am your friend i am your friend and you only call me when you have problem that's a problem even if you're not a friend even if it's, you are not my friend there is that occasion that you call someone and just say hey niaje umepotea vipi ibo some one or two times you know but there is this person they have your number their phone books they just watch your status they even steal your status and <laughs> they don't even greet you and then when they have problems they remember you no the occasional friends i don't like oh my oh my the place is so much right here the place is so much pardon me pardon me on the breeze pardon me on the flight pardon me on everything guys but i have 
have to do this. So, you know me, I have unconditional friends and they know themselves. They are so few. They are like two or three. Those that usually check on me, even when they are down, even when they are up, they usually remember me. And also for me, I remember them always. If I love you, I'll always call you. I'll always do anything for you. They tell me like, you need something, you don't have something, I'll support you if I have. But if you are that particular friend that is seasonal, you come to me whenever you have problems, but if you are happy, you have money somewhere. Pardon, guys. Alright, so I was saying, if you, are a, if you are a seasonal friend, you come to me only when you have problems, then command 